What's up guys? This is uh, Diego with Lit Up Designs. Today we have a TV model number UN32 Foxtrot 5500. This is made in 2013. Samsung uh, Smart TV. As you can see, uh, we can tell the, Sam the Smart by the LAN, local area network. And we have a problem with this TV that it doesn't want to start. I'll show you just the symptoms real quick and then we'll jump right in into the problem or the fix. So I plug it in. This is what I get. Blinking lights. So in Samsung TVs, usually when you plug it in, it automatically tries to start on. Right now it most likely is on. But I have no backlights, and I took off the lights. Uh, I'll I'll show you why. Anyways, I'm gonna move the menu here, and you'll you'll be able to hear it. I just turned it off right there. So as you can see, I had that standby light on, and I'm gonna turn it on again. And it's gonna keep blinking and blinking, and the backlights ultimately don't come on. Um, I have the LCD off right now. I have everything off actually. Uh, so I can show y'all everything, how this fix goes. Um, first of all, I guess you're gonna take all the screws out, whatnot. Uh, don't forget this screw right here. Um, and then we're gonna take this little panel that comes off and we're gonna unplug this. So that way we can take the back off. All right, so stand by. So after a whole bunch of fun of taking those screws out, um, you're going to want to actually, there should be a, a silver, two silver tabs here. You're going to want to take those off and then also take off the L L LCD tabs here. And then for the, to get the, this, this out of the way as well, remember the speakers, which is kind of a pain here. These baby speakers that produce no sound. <laughs> Anyways, let's take those out of the way. Um, here is your power supply. This is what provides power to the main board and it also provides power to the power uh, LEDs. Uh, I will be weary of this because look at you can kind of see a little of the burn marks or heat marks. Let's just call it that. Um, I don't think that it's the problem with the power supply. Uh, but if you really want to get technical, you can actually read all these tabs here. And let me zoom focus here and here. These tabs kind of tell you the voltage and whatnot, um, which one has a charge, which one is a positive and negative. Um, it it kind of gets confusing after a while. So easiest way to do this is um, most likely it's going to be the LEDs here. If you can see a picture with the flashlight pointing the LED uh, LCD. And the backlights never come on. Uh, most likely, it's going to be the the, uh, the LEDs on the backlights. So we're gonna. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna show you out real quick. So after you have removed the frame, the bezel, the LCD, the filters, and these clips right here, you will get to this uh, step. Now, I do recommend you use an LED tester. Um, basically, what we want to do is here is list it on the left hand side, um, and you'll get to the connector here board. And once you unplug the black, the back side, you can now test each one of these connectors to see which one lights up and which one doesn't. Uh, give me a second, and I'll uh, demonstrate that for y'all. All right, with my voltage tester, my LED TV backlight tester that I've uh, purchased on eBay for about $30. I will be looking at this voltmeter right here. Right now it says 316 volts, uh, which will actually go down once I cross these together. Uh, basically uh, making a short there. You saw that. Anyways, um, what we'll do here is Test out, let's just test out this right one, this first one right here. 
Give me a sec. It's time to be talented here. Alright, we got that. And then we have lights. Now this totals out to about 20, I think it was 24, 25 volts. Um, you, what you want to do is you want to continue on and see which one is the one that doesn't light up out of all of these. Um, and I have it already pulled out here. So we want to lay this out. Let me get my stand. So there are a couple of test points and it's just cool about Samsung is that you know they, they thought about this obviously. Um, the one on the right here, it's kind of hard to see. It's gonna be the positive side. So go ahead and leave the positive there and the negative on the very first copper portion. You'll see that it lights up. We can keep going on the, to the next copper here and keep going to the next one. Keep going. So finally it doesn't light up. Um, fortunately for me, you can also jump to the next copper from like the, the previous one to the next one here, like that. Um, the only one that doesn't light up is this last one. So I'll continue here. We know that this one's gonna light up. Then this one jumps off to the next copper. And basically all you see is just a bunch of blinking, hard, fast blinking from the LEDs here. So this one's, this is actually reading a little bit higher than usual. The voltage, that's one thing you want to pay attention to the voltage. That spiked up to 20 volts right there. So we do know that something is wrong with one of these LEDs and this one hasn't been a problem. This one's three volts. Jump from this one to this one, 20 volts. Nine volts. Uh -huh. Basically what you want to see is that a voltage stays steady. Uh, we know that this strip is something wrong with this strip. So I'm going to look more deep into it to find out if which LED is actually causing the problems. And if any case, we can probably replace the LEDs or replace the LED bar itself. So, stand by. So, after further testing, um, <laughs> looks like that strip is not 100% bad. I did test it earlier to where I couldn't turn it on at all. Um, I plugged in, well, when I, when I show what I was showing y'all guys, I plugged it in, I mean, I, uh, tested it out and it looked like it came up. Um, so I decided to just put it back in circuit and then plug in the power cord. And this is what I get. Um, most likely this, I think it's going to be the solder on, on most likely this, this last ones, the solder joints. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll probably do a touch up under, um, I'll put basically a torch of, uh, soldering torch and then kind of blowing some heat to it so it, the seat the solder can liquefy and then re uh attaches uh, again um i don't think it's the leds themselves i just think that it's just maybe bad solder joints within the leds so i'm gonna unplug it right here and try plugging it in again see if i get the same outcome here so let me see Make sure you plug in, obviously make sure you plug in your LEDs from the back side as well. So yeah, I mean the LEDs, they're flickering right now. Um, so I mean, they're flickering in the beginning, but looks like, so it's still flickering. Hmm. So the flickering kind of stopped now. It was flickering for a while. Um, the video shows a little different, obviously. But uh, looks like the flickering stopped. Even when I try to like tap on it, there's no flickering motion. 
Um, so I'll, I'll do that. I'm basically just gonna resolder the or reflow the solder on the bottom with the torch and then blowing it under the strip itself and kind of let it liquefy and solidify again. Well, you know, hopefully this is what happened with y'all's TV. Um, but in any other case, you you can replace the whole strip uh, by looking by the model number on the strip itself. Um, let me let me see if I can show y'all. There, there should be a model number here on this strip. Looks like this one's going to be the two five three zero zero alpha. So if you type that on like eBay or something like that, you'll be able to find that strip. Um, and if not, you know you can look at my other videos on how I do it to where. I don't replace the strip, I replace the, the actual LED, individual LED once I find out which is a bad one. Um, and then put everything back together the way it was and it should be okay. Um, hope this helped y'all. If it did, subscribe, like, let me know. Um, if you think I should improve better, like, you mean, let me know too as well. Um, y'all take care. Until the next one. Laters.